bit of another adventure left. Uh, I mean, the smart thing to do is come back when everything melts and then I can... Production per hour of work is just so much higher. Simply because I'm not set up well enough at my property for winter. Once I get a, a proper setup, then you can get all sorts of stuff done in the winter. But when you're having very difficult access to even get to your property, then you're not gonna get much done. I also bought a snowmobile. I'll show you when I pull over later. A snowmobile and a utility trailer. camping kind of night there's the sled which I'll show you a little more tomorrow it snowed last night Pretty excited to uh, try out this Sled, snowmobile. Yeah, check this thing out. It's a utility sled, Scanic 500 from 1998 was $2,200 Canadian. I would say I got a good deal on it. Uh, it's in pretty good shape from what I can tell. It uh, has reverse. Kind of an all-around machine. So test drove it the one day when I went to buy it and also got the trailer. Right up the trail that turns off the forestry road. There's substan there's just substantially a lot more snow up here than where I parked my vehicle. Uh, it's just too deep. It's a uh, gosh, has to be like twice as much snow here as just down the road. But at least it got me to here. It's a few kilometers on the snowshoes. I can unstuck this thing later, but check it out. Tried to pack light, but it still seems like I have a lot of crap. Oh, here goes nothing. Ooh, it's gonna take a while. Breaking trail.
no one said free rent or not having a mortgage payment would be easy. Oh man, is it worth it? <laughs> oh, don't worry, next winter this time. Yeah. I'll be I'll be laughing. Probably want to get Starlink. Connect to the outside world. And who knows, I don't know if I could be here like full time, full time. I'll still have to go away and work. Unless I get YouTube rich. That's not gonna happen. I really don't want to put those hip waders on. It's starting to shape up like a normal winter here. End of February now. Needless to say, I won't be getting any construction done back in here this winter. I'm gonna spend a few nights here. Probably should put those hip waders on. I don't really like the idea of getting wet. Just a matter of a foot falling through and getting wet now. But where will that happen? Still got the snowshoes on too. Unreal. Didn't even have to put on the uh, chest waders. Right on. Well, there's one bonus.
like there's a heck of a lot of weight there let me go put another support right here Crisis averted. I've always wanted to see about burning one of these dead standing trees. Let's see if uh, we can find one. See if we can't get that thing lit up. This is the one that bear was up back in the spring. Maybe I could, uh... oh yeah, this might be worthwhile. I'll get, get a fire going in there. I think I'll just carve this thing out here, get some wood and see if I can't get this thing going. Okay, so I dug out around it. Let's see. It might take a while to get this thing going. A hole in the back side of the tree too. Seems to be working. I was wondering if it'd climb all the way up the tree or not. Sort of is. Oh wow, that thing's really coming out of there. Cool. Well, it's sort of working. Ouch. Oh, there. We'll get going again. The actual tree is consuming itself now. Oh yeah. 
He's already throwing some pretty good heat. Oh, that went right down there. That went down a ways. Let's put another one in. Feed the dragon. Oh, baby. Gotta be careful here. Very mesmerizing. Can't take my eyes off it. More so than a regular uh, campfire. There is something about the smell and flame of burning wood in the depth of winter. It taps into something deep and primal within us. I can't help but be transported into very, very deep thoughts and memories in this moment. Some of the small things in life are suddenly front and center. In this very moment, my mind wanders back to Lila the dog. I often dog sit a doodle named Lila. She sure is a joy to be around. I think of her often out here, always smiling and so happy. <laughs> I sure do miss that dog. wonder how long it'll take for that tree to come down. I don't think it'll take too long. Throwing some heat though. That just happened now. That was like 30 seconds ago I said that and then I didn't get on camera. Damn it. Happened so quick. I wonder how long that log will burn because it's relatively hollow in through there. It might go all night. Where's the shovel? Got to negative 21 degrees Celsius last night. I really got to get that wood stove set up better. That's it. 
I won't be back for a while. Let's go check out that log that I, or that tree that I set on fire last night. It's noon now, that was like uh, 15, 16 hours ago that I set that thing on fire. smoking um so i have that little spade shovel i'll hike out and uh these were two very relaxing quiet days um just read a lot and uh i kind of thought about what the future of this area will look like uh, what i need to do and just being here helps a lot with trying to make those decisions and just a couple of the next steps what's priority what's not i'm looking forward to getting out uh not sure 100 percent if i could dig out the uh sled with that little spade shovel i'll give it a go if not uh i'll give it a few hours and if nothing's happening i'll have to walk back to the vehicle make the very long walk back and uh figure something else out It's just insanely beautiful today. Well, you can expect a few more of these Cabin River outdoor videos. Follow along and see what next little uh, poor life decisions await. Really question what the hell you're doing out here sometimes when, when things go sour and you just can't seem to chalk it up to anything better than poor life decisions <laughs> well here's hoping for digging out that snowmobile sure would love the comfort of uh, an apartment or a house or And pad down it's very fluffy snow with my snowshoes it'll make it easier to shovel success sure I'm gonna pick this up in the spring when I come back next and that's that Okay, I'll take her for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> 